you are. So, right. so you have four minutes like everybody. Yeah. And I have your slides here and I'll give you uh, the presenter handle. Mano Lismar, you're on the top, right? Oh, you could take it, right? It's okay. I am now? You are. Yeah. yeah. So Mano is four minutes, Satnox comes. What's the update? Thank you. Yeah, sure. So hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Manolis from Labor Space. Uh, two years ago in Athens, we presented, uh, we presented for the first time uh, the Saturn Comms project. And uh, now I want to share with you some uh, new stuff that we have done for all these two years that we that uh, passed. So uh, what is Saturn Comms? Uh, Saturn Comms is uh, co-founded by LSF and uh, as a project. It's a UHF and S-Band uh, transceiver uh, based on the STM3287 uh, uh, MCU. It has also a Zinc uh, 7220 FPGA on board and is uh, suitable for LEO missions for up to 600 uh, uh, kilometers. Of course, everything is open source and uh, open hardware and uh, the key feature of uh, this transceiver is the seamless integration with the Saturn network that uh, we provide. Um, yeah. So the the board will support uh, FSK, MSK, BBSK, and KPSK for data rates uh, up to fifty kilobits uh, kilobits for the UHF and uh, up to one megabit uh, for the S band. Uh, based on the FPGA that it has on board, it can also support uh, IQ uh, data streaming, so everyone can uh, implement their own uh, modulation schemes or do more fancy stuff that, uh, like, uh, for example, spectrum monitoring or machine learning, etc. Uh, this is a rendering of the latest iteration of uh, our board, but uh, of course, uh, we already have some prototypes right here. And uh, we are doing uh, currently testing uh, to identify the, the RF performance uh, of the transceivers and uh, if everything uh, works according to the plan. Um, here you can see the, the overview of uh, the, the board. Um, uh, the, the RF uh, front end uh, is based on the 80, 86 uh, RF215 uh, uh, radio transceiver uh, from Atmel. It has an onboard uh, data storage and um, several other monitoring uh, stuff um, that uh, can be used for telemetry or uh, to uh, power down uh, parts, portions of, uh, of the board. Uh, for the RF on uh, the UHF uh, can tune uh, from um, Four hundred hits up to four hundred fifty. Uh, we cover the commercial um, uh, bands, and uh, but uh, also the radio bands can be supported upon request. Uh, the tick power is uh, up to thirty-two dB dBm uh, with one dB step resolution, and uh, the spectrum mask uh, is uh, compliant with the, with the CFCG uh, compliant uh, regulations. Um, the the RF uh, front end interfaces uh, have a I have a custom um, HDC mechanism with uh, custom uh, low noise amplifiers uh, and uh, with uh, quite high dynamic range. Uh, we have also two different uh, uh, signal paths with different feature characteristics in order to improve um, selectivity if the user needs, needs it. Uh, for the power management, uh, we have uh, three different power supplies and uh, one rad hard FET uh, in order to prevent uh, any kind of uh, latch up uh, that can occur due to a single events uh, during the or in orbit. Of course, everything is monitoring, uh, monitoring and um, you can get uh, this uh, data through, um, uh, through telemetry. Uh, the either phase. Um, the device uh, is uh, two canvas, full duplex, uh, one SPI, and uh, two interfaces for uh, antenna deployment uh, uh, signals. 
Uh, all the, uh, the, the mod follows the Liberty uh, specification regarding the, the uh, PC, uh, PC 100, uh, 104 uh, uh, connector and uh, the, the overall um, uh, dimensions of uh, the board. Uh, for the software, we decided to, to implement uh, the control like the, the control of uh, the, the board uh, in a dedicated uh, completely dependent library based on C++ and uh, we use a CMake build system that uh, you can build the entire firmware of uh, the, the board uh, using just the CMake and then compiler. Don't, no external dependency at all and uh, no dependency on any kind of uh, custom meters or whatever. Um, the, the CPU firmware is, uh, is based on the FreeRTOS, but of course anyone uh, using the libsatoms library can implement it on, uh, on uh, his own um, uh, RTOS, like uh, for example uh, uh, CBIOS, which is very popular these days. Uh, for the FPGA, we, use, we have a Vivado reference designs, and uh, all of, uh, of our AP calls are based on Axis. Two for minutes the, over, uh, uh, Manoris. Can you, can you hurry up? Sorry? You're two minutes over, over the, the time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, ability, the availability will be, will be uh, due to this uh, uh, IC shortage, uh, we believe that is for the, f the second uh, quarter of uh, 2020 and 2022, and uh, the cost will be about 2,000 uh, euros. So, you know to find us, and uh, yeah. Thank you all for, for your attention. Thanks, Manolis. Uh, I, you had like some kind of uh, uh, disconnections, but I, I hope that was only on my side. So uh, thanks a lot for, for this Satnox, uh, Satnox comes board that is well weighted. Um, who is and who wants to give a yes? You have three seconds to turn on your microphone. Three, two, one. What did I say? Yes. 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 Of course, we want it. Great. So, matter is for every minute exceeded, you have to give one bitcoin to uh, uh, an open source project of your choice. Okay. Next. <laughs> you didn't say that in the beginning, but it's a. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Manolis. You know where to find Manolis. He's on every channel. So, reach out to him. It's good. Yannick is next. Yannick, are you there? You have turned your, your, your camera.